By the way, I apologize for the uh, delays of most of my videos. It's just that I didn't realize how much I was going to have to do until I actually started to do stuff. But, uh, yeah. In the meantime, it's on the Twisted Whiskers show, uh, Search for the Weirdest Cartoon. You get a review on PS2 and some game experiences. Isn't that great? Anyway... Yeah, so this episode's about the PS2 now. I have a bit of a history with the PS2. It starts, say, uh, a little while back. Well, this uh, story starts out a while back, just like a, a few years ago, when I was uh, in the garage, and I found a PS2. Now, I played on that thing for like a year or two, until, stupidly, I sold it. Back when I was still selling some of my collection. Now I don't do that anymore. So I was PS2-less for a while. Until a few months ago where... Surprise, surprise. I found one at a retro game shop. For 125 bucks. So naturally... I checked it out. And uh... Yeah, first before we talk about the console. Let's talk about its... History. This story starts out way, way back in the late 80s when Sony and Nintendo were actually kind of good partners. In fact, they wanted to create a CD add on for the Super Famicom, then in the states known as Super Nintendo. So, Sony created the uh, CD drive the Super CD for the Super Famicom and hoping that would be like the Famicom disk system more storage for better games but when Nintendo realized that Sony would be making more profit Nintendo backed out in terms for a better deal with Philips which that causes the Nintendo CDI games and that's a whole discussion for another day but to keep things short Sony was not too happy about this, losing millions of dollars, possibly, on this disaster. So, the execs at Sony wanted to create a 32-bit console, known as the PlayStation, which was also the name of a CD-based Super Nintendo, which would have had the CD adapter built in, kind of like the twin Famicom. So... It released in 1994 in Japan and 1995 in the U.S. before Nintendo could release their new console, Nintendo 64, which still ran on cartridges for some unknown reason. And also, the Sega Saturn was mostly a flop by this point due to its early botched launch. And it's confusing infrastructure, meaning that not a lot of games would be on it. So, Sony crushed the competition. And realized, hey, the next generation of consoles is coming soon. The Dreamcast, GameCube, and Xbox all already being confirmed. So, Sony needed to create a 128-bit console with CD technology, online capability... And a new controller. Okay, I lied about that last part. It's literally just a dual shock, but with pressure sensitive buttons. And what would they call this? Would they be like Nintendo and just throw whatever name they had at it? Or would it be like Sega, named after a planet? Nope. They just straight up named it the PlayStation 2. Because people were like, hey, I like the PlayStation 1. But then they realize, oh shoot, there's a PlayStation 2? I gotta get on this trend. So, it released in March 2000 in Japan and October in North America. With a pretty decent launch lineup. And naturally, this killed Sega. That's right, the Dreamcast was discontinued months after the uh, North American launch of the PS2. Which... You know, it's probably the Dreamcast's biggest market in North America, considering that it sold decently there. But the PS2 crushed in sales. And the Xbox and GameCube couldn't keep up, despite Microsoft having pretty good sales for a newcomer. Nintendo was just 
freaking crying over this. And this system was supported for a really, really long time. Getting several accessories like the iToy, which we'll talk about in another video. The PS2 Slim, a revision of the console. The PSP, which is its own thing that we'll also talk about in another video. But it could connect to the PS2 and had its game library and other games. And this system was supported for a really long time. You think the uh, Xbox 360 was supported for a long time? Well, despite this console releasing in the 6th generation, it lasted until the 8th generation. With it being discontinued in 2013, with games still being released in 2013, which is honestly pretty impressive for a console. Now, despite its uh, now outdated hardware, let's take a uh, personal look at the console to see what was what's really going on with it. Yes, this is in fact the PlayStation 2. This is the uh, original model, and the cool thing about it is. It rotates. Now there's the uh, memory card that you use to save games. Here's the uh, controller. It's basically the same as a DualShock uh, 1. Now for this episode, and is this episode only, we only have one game to cover. Atari Anniversary Edition Redux. But there's 12 games in it. And I just gotta say, that's a beautiful presentation. Now, I'm going to rapid fire these games, so, three, two, one. Asteroids, you shoot down rockets. Asteroid Deluxe, you basically do the same thing. Bows zone, shoot down pigs in the fastest time. Black Widow, shoot down bugs as a spider. Centipede, shoot down a centipede as a bug. Gravitar, fly in space. Missile Command, shoot down rockets. Pong, play table tennis. Space Duel, uh, space rockets, more. Uh, Super Breakout, throw balls up blocks. Uh, Sentinel, shoot down rockets. Uh, 3D shooter, shoot down rockets. Uh, Space Duel, shoot down space rockets. Uh, Space Duel, shoot down space rockets. 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 Space so now, what do I think about the PS2? It was very ahead of its time, and it definitely had a lot of good games. And the Atari game wasn't too shabby. I give both of them three Mario stars out of five Mario stars. Very good, but definitely more to come, especially with the PS3. Now, I must fly off into the sunset. As I work on the Twisted Whiskers episode. And, uh, well, that's really it. So, watch more videos on this channel, subscribe, and, and bye, I, I guess. Oh, yeah, and, uh, sorry that this, uh, game review's a little short. But trust me, I have something really crazy planned for Total Dream Island. The episode might get delayed into Tuesday. Probably not, but just to be safe. And, uh, yeah. That's all. What, you, you, could, you can watch other videos if you want. Not even mind, just other videos in general. Okay, bye.